When did you start to play rugby and where? I started playing rugby at the age of 15 and that's when um, we moved to Nairobi because previously we were in Mombasa and at the course people just play football and uh, coming to Nairobi, moving to Nairobi, um, most of the guys play rugby, most of my friends, so I felt left out and one day I followed them to the rugby grounds and I came to, la to learn more about the rugby, the game and uh, I, l I really loved it. That's how I actually started gaining interest in the game. Have you always played Rugby Sevens? Well, yeah, uh, I played uh, Rugby Sevens since the age of 15, like I told you. And in high school, most of the, like, most of the time, like, uh, it's more Sevens because it's interesting. And um, as, you can, as you know, like, uh, in Kenya, 15s is not faring, faring, faring very well. Like countries like Zimbabwe, Tunisia, um, uh, South Africa. So for me, I didn't come from a background of, of 15s rugby. It's more seven, seven, sevens, and the league in Kenya is more not, not very competitive than the sevens game. Yeah. How did you become part of uh, the Lou setup here at uh, in Lyon and to play at uh, Pro Division Two in France? Well, I first came to know about Lou rugby when um, a, 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 an agent from Australia contacted me and he was like uh, asking me about playing professional rugby, 15s rugby. And I was like, yeah, I like ch taking challenges. In, uh, like life is all about challenges. So yeah, I said to him like, yes, I, I would I'd love to uh, try. And then he, he gave me contacts to Tim Lem. We had a chat with Tim and he asked me if uh, I li like to play 15s rugby. I was like, yes, but um, it's going to be a bitter decision for me because Seven, the seventh team was like my family, my second family, and leaving them was, was going to be very, very hard. But yeah, I had to, sometimes you have to move on and make bitter decisions in life. How are you finding the transition from sevens rugby to 15? Well, the transition is very, very, I can say it's not hard, but at the same time it's not very easy. Because like uh, for sevens, you know, it's more like 14 minutes and um, a lot of fitness more running, um, more space. For 15s, it's more like contact and the defensive position and attacking wise. So like learning all that and coming from a sevens breakdown, it's very, very, I can say it very hard, but um, I'm loving it at the moment. Yeah. The Commonwealth Games are this year uh, to be held in Glasgow and Rugby Sevens is going to be a major part of that. Now you're going to be in the Kenyan side this year. How do you think Kenya are going to fare? Well, uh, the Commonwealth Games, well, it's, it's actually interesting because it's my, it will be my first Commonwealth Games. And um, like I, we had a, ch a chat a, a little bit earlier, and I'm very, very competitive because it's the Commonwealth Games. And um, um, we have to wor work really hard. And me coming from 15s rugby, I have to go work on my fitness, fighting for my sport because they're a little and there are many young guys coming into the seven squads in, in Kenya, and they are more comp like uh, I think we fare very well this year because like uh, the preparations have been done perfectly, I think, and um, um, we have beaten most of the like all the teams like, like the big teams, the so-called big, big teams. So I think um, it's more for us to just go get into the pitch and decide we want to win, and uh, everything will work for us. The qualifications of the Olympics follow on from the Commonwealth Games. Kenya are currently ranked number eight in the world rankings. Give me your thoughts on the qualification procedure for the Olympics. Well, for me, the qualification procedures, uh, I've, I've read an article about the procedure and I think um, it, it's going to be, uh, it's fair enough because like um, you get more, more teams trying to qualify for the Olympics, uh, for the Olympics and um, you know, like if they use the World Series, most teams will be left out because it will be automatic for the all teams that are playing the the World Series to qualify. So for now, what I know is like um, the first four of the 2014-2015 will get automatic qualifications for the Olympics, and Brazil getting another another um, automatic qualification because they are the host nation. And for the rest of 11 teams, they, will, they have to, I think there will have, be a tournament that they, um, a regional tournament, I think, for Africa and the rest of the, the other continents. 
and uh, the one that comes out top, that's the, they're the ones who are going to qualify for the Olympic. How do you prepare for a major tournament or for the Olympics, for example, which is coming up in 2016? How and where do you prepare? Well, the preparations are actually pretty hard. Um, we, we have camps like before the 2013 World Cup, Rugby World Cup. We went to Aldershot, British Army camp, and um, we trained there for one week. Did some obstacle courses, and uh, it was pretty interesting. It was really fun. Yeah, it was really, really fun, but really, at the same time, really hard. <laughs> and um, we played against Wales. Well, the Welsh team came in, the Irish Exiles team came in, and also we played the British Army team. So I can say, like, for the preparation for the big tournaments, is really, really, they take, we take it really seriously because the World Cup, the, um, the Commonwealth Games, the Olympics, uh, something like it's something big if you win it so the preparation must be really really uh, good and um, yeah you have to give it everything for the preparation for the big, big tournaments yeah and to finish give me the highlights of your career highlights of my career well um, I, I, I can say I had a, B, a very good 2012-2013 RB World 7 Series um, my, but my biggest achievements was like um, I first making the dream team. Like uh, the dream team was selected by the commentators and the coaches, I think. Excellent. Yeah, and um, also uh, Wellington making it the finals of the Wellington, beating New Zealand uh, in their own home ground, winning the quarterfinals versus um, South Africa. Actually, scored two tries in that in that game, and um, it was actually pretty amazing. Um, the London Sevens too, scoring seven tries in the whole tournament so I can say like um, the London and Wellington were the best like uh, the best tournaments for me because I was in top form and considering that we had a very huge tra tra training load so like uh, it was on and off on and off for the guys because it was the first pro professional setup so I can say L Wellington London are the best achievements for me. And did you find this was a good stepping stone to, to coming into Rugby 15s? Yeah, well, like, uh, put the, like I said, the professional setup for the, um, for the training, supplementation uh, and uh, jet lag procedures, like I never knew something like that existed. Yeah, so <laughs> it was actually pretty good. And um, um, coming into 15s, professional 15s, I wasn't, I wasn't uh, like, uh, like people say, no culture shock for me because I knew what a professional player has to do to keep feet it right. So, yeah, it was actually a good stepping stone for me. Well, thank you, Willie. It's been a real pleasure talking to you today. You had a real insight into Rugby Sevens. And good luck for the Commonwealth Games and for the Olympics. It's thank been you. a real pleasure. Thank, thank you. Thanks for having me. My pleasure.